I live just outside a predominantly Asian town. It's mostly a mixture of Chinese and Koreans in this, in this town I'm referring to. And recently in this town, there was a little scare when a Chinese couple came back from their visit to China, which I assume they were natively born in. Uh, they came back from China, and they came back sick. And many, many people, even the media, were speculating that this was the coronavirus. Oh no, it finally came over to this part of New York. Everyone's going to get affected. Everyone's going to get sick. Everyone's going to die. Fear-mongering, fear-mongering. Turns out they just came back with a flu. Now, I myself didn't really know much about the coronavirus prior to this scare in my area because, honestly, I didn't care about it all too much. But, of course, after all of this that happened in my area and after me doing research about its origins, what happens to you when you're in affected by it. It is scary, I'll give people that, but what I hate the absolute most about this coronavirus is all of the anti-Asian rhetoric that's been going around. All of the the overall bigotry towards Asians, especially in this country and also in other, uh, other first world countries where Asians reside in. Now, my family, some members of my family, not everyone I live with, have been saying, we gotta avoid this town. We gotta not go in there anymore because all of the Asians in there, they may have the coronavirus and we don't know it. Maybe we'll get infected if we go in there. It's just stupid, bigoted fear-mongering because, oh, this town is predominantly Asian. So this must mean there must be some people carrying the coronavirus because, oh no, they're Asian. Even though, like I mentioned earlier in this video, this town, a good chunk of this town, is also Korean, not Chinese. And this virus originated in China. It's currently a big epidemic in China. But no, because these people look a certain way, they all look similar. We all got to be weary of them because, oh no, they may be carrying the coronavirus because, again, they have those slanty eyes, the yellow skin, whatever other Asian stereotype you want to think of. It is absolutely disgusting, this line of thinking. And I've seen a whole bunch of people on the internet try to rationalize this because it really should be no secret to most smart people that the internet is full of intolerant bigots so of course there's going to be a whole bunch of people rationalizing this but the other day I've I, I looked at a bunch of videos relating to the racism that the coronavirus sparked, or at the very least uh, popular popularized even more against Asians and I've seen all, all these videos are pretty much bond with di dislikes, and I'm sure this video won't be an exception. And the comment section is filled to the brim with disgusting bigots saying, well, how, do you, how else do you expect us to react? I expect you to react like a decent human being, knowing that, you know, just because someone is Asian doesn't give you the right to discriminate against them, automatically assume that they have this virus that they're going to infect you with, because that is a bigoted way of thinking. I can't believe this actually needs to be said, but apparently it does. The coronavirus does not give you an excuse to be bigoted towards these people. And I I'm, more, I'm more than willing to bet that a lot of these people that are at the brunt of this of this discrimination aren't even Chinese and people just assume that they're Chinese because again, oh, they, lo they all look the same. <sighs> My uncle brought up a story that he heard about just the other day relating to this. Apparently some white woman in Texas with her kids uh, saw some Asian, Asian American, I should add, uh, right, right around where they were, and uh, the, the, this Asian American in question overheard this woman saying to her kids, don't go near them because you might get sick, you might get infected. What a fucking disgusting lady, teaching your kids to be afraid of these kind of people, be afraid that these people may get you sick, and any time you encounter these people, you gotta stay away and fear them. That's a great way to r bring up your child to be racist as fuck. These kind of people can't focus on the problem at hand, the virus itself. They gotta bring race and identity into this as if it's some kind of checkmate against a certain group of people. People. Again, they can't look at the they can't look at the situation at face value and focus on what is actually the problem. They gotta focus on all of these irrelevant little details. What is the race of this person? What do they look like? Oh, th this virus comes from this certain type of t this certain place. Oh, that totally gives me ammo to discriminate against a certain group of people. And all of the memes I've been seeing shared around on the internet a lot lately relating to the coronavirus are also part of the problem. And of course, they 
almost always have Asian people be the brunt of the joke, this only helps normalize this kind of thinking. This only helps reinforce the notion that it's okay to discriminate against these kind of people because it's just one big joke. Don't be such a crybaby. It's all one big joke to, to make to, to make jokes that spread harmful uh, stigmas surrounding a certain group of people. That's totally okay. Oh boy, what a world we live in that's filled with totally, totally wonderful people. Definitely. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye.